Now we're sitting next to the Maltese representative to this year's Eurovision Song Contest. It is Malta's Thea Garrett. Hello, nice to meet you again. Hi, nice to meet you too. <laughs> now we met in February at the Eurosong 2010 and I think you were overwhelmed with winning the contest. Sorry, it still gives me goosebumps. Even. I can see. You, did, did you ever think, think of that to, to win this com contest? First time there and you, you take over? Of course, over? I mean I didn't expect it for sure. There were so many singers that have been trying to win the Eurosong for ages. I mean and me no one even knew who I was at the first time. I really didn't expect it. It was a huge surprise. After the Euro song, you went to Germany for remixing the song? Yes. And uh, uh, there will be also another version coming out of this, like it is a dance mix? It's done already. It's done already? Of course, it's out on CD already. And will you also sing it in, in Maltese, I guess, as well? Yes, I also have the Maltese version. It's all on the CD. And for the performance in Oslo, will there be some changes compared to uh, what you did in Malta? Can you let us into some surprises? Yeah, not really. There won't be a lot of changes. I wanted to keep the package as uh, how the people voted because it won't be fair that they vote for something and I change everything on PC. So basically it's going to be very similar, except it's going to be a bit bigger and better and just a few more surprises here and there. <laughs> let us into the surprises if you mind. Oh no. Oh. I, I told you about the bird in Malta. I told you about the surprise before, but this time I will keep my mouth shut. All right, okay. You guys have questions. Did you, sure. Did you bring the bird for tonight? I kept him in a cage in the world. Oh. <laughs> so I gave Jürgen, him a break. Jürgen, Jürgen promised you in the last, in the last radio to Will you be my in. bird now? To be the Just bird? No, the I cannot do it. <laughs> Anyway, now, now you, you uh, will go to Oslo and then what happens after Eurovision with you? Will you continue with uh, singing? Well, obviously um, I will try and continue singing. It's basically either West End for me or continue on uh, with my singing career and maybe become a successful singer. I'm trying to work hard as I worked hard for Eurovision. I, I'm really trying to work hard to reach my dreams, you know? <laughs> so I'm just living day by day for now, just enjoying this Eurovision experience and then we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> You're talking about West End, you mean West End in yeah, London? West End in London, yes. So uh, musicals. Because I, I studied for 12 years classical and operistic singing, so that's my genre originally. So uh, it's something I want to run after, and maybe the other road as well. It, it depends which door opens first. And what would be the musical you'd love to sing in? Well, my favorite musical is uh, Les Miserables, and Phantom of the Opera would be something that I'd love to sing in. To go to the West End and then do musicals there? But would you then leave Malta? Um, unfortunately, Malta, it does have everything, and I love Malta, but unfortunately, uh, singing opportunities are very rare there, so I have to. Unfortunately, yes, to reach somewhere I want to reach, I have to leave Malta. With whom would you like to sing together with in the musical? A musical star? In a musical? Yes. Well, if you had asked me who I would love to sing with, if they were still alive, would be the Beatles. I am a Beatles fan. Really? Yes, I love them. Wow. Beatles. But unfortunately, they're in heaven. Um, uh, musicals, obviously, it would be either Michael Ball or Sarah Brightman, which I really admire. So I do have a bit of everything, musicals and Beatles, you know. So. That's amazing, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, uh, we know that in Australia, there's a big amount of Maltese people there. Are you considering to go also to Malta? Uh, sorry, to, to yes, Australia? Yes, after, to... after Eurovision, I would be touring in Australia. Wow, fantastic. So, so really touring, how many songs have you got in your repertoire you're singing? Well, uh, right now, uh, I have maybe 10, but ten. I am uh, really, really working on new new material after, after Eurovision, for sure. Are you writing uh, music yourself? Well, uh, I used to write songs just by ear, though. I never learned piano. I just by ear write songs on piano and everything. But uh, I leave that up to Jason, the guy who wrote my dream. He's a lot better than me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, now Kiara came back to the Eurovision Song Contest three times. Would you go and do it a second time? Well, you can never say never, but uh, I wouldn't, I think. I think, uh, personally, I have nothing against people who, the competitors who came up for a second and third time, but personally, as Thea, I would say that once your opportunity door is open mm -hmm. and you're in Eurovision, if there's, I, I wouldn't go back, close it, and risk not opening it again. But, uh, I mean, people are really, really lucky who went up twice and three times. I wouldn't, I don't think I would have the guts to do that again. But. You can never say never, though. I, who knows what will happen in three years' time. You, you might even enjoy it very much to come back. Oh, it's an experience of a lifetime. I mean, I'd love to live it again, but you have to have the right song at the right time. 
Now you are very young, you're 18, yeah. 18 years old, and uh, there is the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, and you sent in Daniel Testa in 2008, and, and uh, I don't kind of remember last year. Double but Trouble. Double Trouble. Yeah. Do, do you think it's right to have juniors or kids sing in front of such a big uh, audience? It's good for them. I, I wouldn't have uh, personally would want to go in Junior Eurovision though, but I think it's good uh, for kids who really want to start exposure from a young age. All right. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't remove it. It's a, it's a fun experience for them as well. Why not we let them sing? <laughs> Excellent. Now, have you heard any of the other songs of this year's Eurovision yes, Song Contest and any favorites? Yes, obviously. Um, the few, from the few I heard, uh, everyone will have a favorite. But from the few I've heard, I honestly, honestly really like them all. But there are a few uh, top ones. Uh, should I Which mention? Ones? Yes, yes, please. Okay, I do like the Irish entry. Very nice. I do like also Norway and Denmark. Yeah. This is my style of singing, so obviously I like them better. <laughs> but well, the, the very few I heard were amazing. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah, this year it's amazing quality festival. Huh? Too much, too much beautiful songs. Fantastic. That's Thea Garrett from Malta. Thank you very much. All the best of luck Thank in the Eurovision Song Contest in Oslo. Thank you. Okay, all the best. <laughs>